You hear me? One, two, three, four, five. Is this loud enough? Okay, super. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the equestrian world, I think that would be like cooking. I don't cook that much, but people, when I cook, they say, oh, I love it, I like it, so. Eating chocolate and coffee cappuccino. <laughs> At six, I start riding. Yeah, I always laugh about that stupid lag of me. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's serious and I laugh and then they start laughing too because, yeah, see it from the positive side, huh? Amazing! <laughs> early, normally really early, yeah. That I could not ride one day, it would be the end of my life. Too no. <laughs> When my horse Dreamy Boy got ill, I drove the pickup into the stable floor and I slept with him. My mobile phone. <laughs> I usually listen to some relaxed uh, music during riding, training at home. I have three horses in total uh, for myself and I ride two daily and then I do one lunging, so two maximum daily. When I got my first own pony, I think, that's when it started all. Huh? The most powerful thing that I learned that I am now a power dressage is that there are no limits. You put your own limits and stick into your dreams because you can all have it, but when you don't believe in yourself, then why should others do so? And there are more uh, roads that lead to the same place where you want to be, and I'm very happy with this. <laughs>